good morning um coming back to report on my 40 day plus fast for weight loss today is day number 27 today is the 27th of february and i started on the first um unfortunately yesterday i had to break my fast um from day one to seven were very hard um especially the first three days but the first week usually very hard um you're feeling the hunger pangs that were going on uh, i was having um constant thoughts of food and obsessing about food what i'm gonna eat i wanted to watch all those food videos fortunately for me i ended up um, watching um this guy well well your world and he cooks mostly fresh salt free oil free um uh, sugar free recipes just salsas and beans and things that you know i could eventually have so at least i watched some good recipes but i know that's still the the obsessive compulsive eating disorder that i've diagnosed myself with that was playing on my mind <clears throat> anyway after the first week it was smooth sailing i was fine no issues except for the excessive phlegm that you cough off the foamy urine uh, what other side effects oh really cold feet and I had to wear um, socks to bed and also broke out um, the heating pad for my feet um, at least for the first hour of bedtime um, what else is that what were the other symptoms those were the main ones the coldness the you know lethargy tiredness but other than that, it was going fine. I have to tell you, I did not drink distilled water. I hate distilled water. There's a taste, there's a metallic taste to it that makes me want to throw up. So I just ended up um, drinking the filtered water from the refrigerator. I just have to make sure the filter is changed often. Filtered water from the refrigerator um, and I would drink about three liters a day that was my average a little, sometimes a little under under other times I drank a little bit more than three liters so um, I did that till about uh, day 23 I started having like it was like I was just gonna pass out I was I just felt yucky I, felt, I had the same feeling I had when I was at day 33 of my longest fast which was 37 days I've had that feeling that you know it's not just tiredness <clears throat> or lethargy it's more um, something is wrong and you have to know your body to, to, to when you get to that point to know okay this is not right I need to do something about it especially if you're not going to your doctor my doctor is about two hours away and I, I feel like I can you know I know my body enough so that <clears throat> if I feel that way I know to break the fast so I first started with I drank uh, two liters of um, water but I added some salt and I added some no salt to it. For those of you who know, no salt is potassium. And you get that from any grocery store. So I added a teaspoon of no salt and a teaspoon of salt to it. And I mixed it up. I drank that slowly um, for a couple of hours. And then I was still feeling yucky. So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to chance it because I'm, I have some due, uh, artificial due date that I've placed on myself, 40 days. So I was like, I, I told my husband, and he's always freaked out when, I, when I'm fasting anyway. So he's like, I don't want you to die. Can you please? He's one of, you know, he's, he's really supportive and he knows the, the regimen. He's also vegan. But 
he doesn't want me, obviously, he doesn't want me to get hurt. So he was supportive for me to break the fast, and he was like, can you just do seven days every month? And I said, well, I'll compromise. How about I do a refeed every seven days? Not going to do that, but I, I told him I'll do that. I will do that if I feel the way I felt um, a few days ago. So, um, But my plan is to go from now to 40 days and then, you know, refeed. Um, and then start back. So refeed for maybe two or three days and then start back again. Remember, you have to have your reason. Why are you doing this? I'm doing it for weight loss. Um, so the way I feel right now, I feel great um, after the refeed. And I'll tell you in a minute what I refed with. But I feel great. I feel energized. I'm ready to go on. And I didn't eat anything that, you know, would compromise me just starting back because I went back right into it today. It's about 11.30 now. I haven't had anything. I'm just having water and I'm continuing to day 40 and just having water. Um, so um, this is just to say, you know, have a reason for fasting because there will be days like this where you feel like, oh, I can't go on and, and you forget. You just want to eat and go back to old habits. Don't do that have your reason for fasting if you have to break because you know of how you feel and you really need to know your body you can't have heart palpitations and say and keeps going I'm gonna go on to day 40 that's stupid you know what I'm saying it is dangerous not just stupid it's dangerous so try to um, <clears throat> I mean, there are other people who, you know, are the first sign of tiredness or lethargy. They're going, I'm done. I got to eat. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is you've been fasting for a while. If you're not used to fasting and then you, f you feel like, okay, something is wrong. My heart is racing or I can't pick up a, 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 a plate or a cup without having to sit down and catch my breath or you're really out of breath. Those kind of signs are not good. You should be able to function normally, albeit, you know, a little tired, a little lethargic, and, and you know, bending down and getting up slowly without having, you know, to be so dizzy that you fall down. If you're going through that, then there's something a little bit more wrong. Okay, now, how did I break my fast? I, um... After I drank my water with, with the potassium and salt mix, I then decided to make some green juice. And the green juice I made, I, I took about mm, a pound or two of uh, spinach. You know those, those bags of spinach from Trader Joe's? I used two of those bags and I used... Um, half of the bag of, of uh, kale, the green kale um, from Trader Joe's if you know what I'm talking about. There's a bag of uh, Tuscan kale I think it's called. I use half of that bag and then I use about two handfuls of um, pineapple and one handful of about pineapple and one handful of um, frozen mango. And I put it in a blender, oh, and a big thumb of ginger, really huge, because I love the taste of ginger. And I put it in there, and I blended it with water, blended it, I have a, a, um, a fast blender, a high-speed blender. So it was able to blend it really finely. Then I passed that through a sieve, um, a regular, you know, handheld sieve. And then I passed that through a cheesecloth, and squeeze it all out so I was able to I don't have a, a juicer so I was able to get just the juice um, no pulp and I had like mm, two one and a half or two jars of 32 ounce uh, juice and I sipped on that oh my god it tasted so good usually I have to put you know a lot more fruit but it tasted really it was like really healthy I could feel my my cells rejuvenated. I, I sipped that all day until the evening. And then I was making some um, 
food for my husband, which is I made cabbage. I blended that in some some cilantro, some vegetables, peppers, green peppers, um, Thai peppers, um, Thai really Thai uh, spices. So I blended all that together. Then I cook it with. I don't cook with oil anymore. I cooked that in with some cabbage and some. I made some some. I made some some broth which I made out of I usually make my broth onions celery kumbu kumbu if you don't know is a um, seaweed it's a really hard flat seaweed you I get it from my Asian uh, stores um, I, I, I kumbu and shiitake dried shiitake mushrooms I put them in my um, in my uh, in my pressure cooker and I add water to it and I cook it for about 20 minutes in the pressure cooker and when I take out the leaves you you discard the kumbo the, the seaweed after you use it the mushroom the broth out of that is heavily no salt remember although the seaweed has some salt on it it's, it's, it's salty um, if you haven't been eating salt when you taste that it's really salty which was it was to be so I use some of that juice I, I put that in the cabbage and all the stuff I was making for my husband I poured it in there which became very juicy so out of that I took some of that broth from the soup from the cabbage and and uh, chickpea soup I was making for my husband I took some of that and I sipped on it too it was so good but it really helped me maybe it was the saltiness <clears throat> maybe it was the uh, celery you know celery has a lot of uh, minerals and salt so all that helped me yesterday really rejuvenate and uh, today I woke up I'm ready to go and start over again so this is all just to say do what you have to do for you it should be your plan your regiment your body you should learn everything read everything I don't care if you're keto or plant-based or whatever figure out what it is ahead of time when that time comes for me I had already known I was gonna do this green juice the, this the soup was an added bonus but um, I already knew I was gonna do green juice but even though you're supposed to do green juice for every week for one day for every week that you fast uh, which I fasted mm, almost three, almost four weeks I should have done four days of juice but I was trying to um, get back to my fasting this was not the end of it this was just a small break to give my body um, the energy it needed and whatever minerals and whatever it needed so I drank that yesterday all day yesterday when I finished I still wasn't energized but oh I forgot and then I had a little bit of watermelon well I, I ate watermelon um, and then I went to sleep this morning I got up I had energy um, I'm ready to go and I'm sure the rest of the, the journey this time because I, I obviously messed up I'm gonna go to I was supposed to end my fast on the 12th it's gonna go now to the 13th so 13th or 14th depending then I'll reevaluate and I probably will refeed with juices again and maybe some broth and keep going since my goal is to lose weight how much weight have I lost well I didn't weigh myself because again like I told you guys um, I'm the kind of person if I weigh myself and I see that I've lost 15 pounds when I was expecting to have lost 25 I instead of that one juice and that little bit of broth I would have gone into a tailspin of just oh, okay it's all lost anyway just go ahead and eat so I would have eaten a big, big bowl of soup I would have done all the stuff that you're not supposed to do so it's to save my sanity please understand I will tell you at um, I, I was thinking of doing a weigh-in at the 30-day uh, point you know but mm, we'll see I'm still thinking about it but definitely at the 40th day I will do a weigh-in and let you all know however 
you can always tell how much weight you've lost with your at least the inches you've lost with clothing this shirt I'm wearing I couldn't wear on the first uh, of February it, it wouldn't even fit past my stomach so and it's fitting really the way I like my clothes to fit a little loose on me so um yeah and this is i went out I, I was a 3x so this shirt is a 2x so i know i've lost some weight you know but we uh, obsessive kind of people want to go from you know 3x to a size 8 in a month so but um i still want to get from a 3x to an 8 in a month but it's not gonna happen i'm learning my mind is i'm trying to put my mind in the right place but um, if you have any questions and tell me about your fasting journey. Why are you fasting? Is it for weight loss? Is it for religious reasons? This is the month for, for Christians. Uh, it's Lent time. Do you fast during Lent? Do you fast? Um, some people are doing like every other day fast, uh, rolling 48, every 48 hours refeed. Some people do two times a week refeed or one time a week refeed. What are you doing? Let's talk about it and see how it's working for different people. We can help each other here. Thank you very much. And y'all have a blessed day. I have to go to work. Bye-bye.